Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad, your HVAC trainer, after a long time. So, as we agreed before, today we are going to discuss about the third topic. As you can see on your screen, load profiles, scheduling for occupancy light, equipment, and thermostat. Before going to start the procedure into the software. I'm going to give a brief introduction to the people who don't have any idea about this uh, load profiles, what exactly it means in HAP terminology and in general terminology. So for that I need a small example which is I'm going to consider as a classroom here. So if you see your screen this is a sample example for the classroom when I say load profiles for these three parameters occupancy lighting and thermostat which means we have to calculate the heat due to these three components heat load due to these three components what it means if you can see on your screen a sample classroom you can see there is uh, furniture and uh, computers on the table and on the ceiling there is fixtures light fixtures so these are light fixtures here one and here one and this is personal computers and uh, occupancy that means the furniture if you see the furnished uh, layout here there is uh, chairs so maybe more than 20 number of chairs is located there that means around 20 people will be going to occupy this space so when we want to calculate the heat load for this particular classroom we have to take care the components inside this classroom which is uh, contributing the heat uh, release in this area particular area not only the classroom I'm just taking an example this procedure is applicable for uh, this explanation is applicable for any area which which includes these these components which is generally widely include these components maybe if you take office area or classroom or convention centers auditoriums or industrial areas wherever you go you will find these three uh, general components inside the building which contribute the heat release this these three components also called internal components and the load heat load due to these three components also called also called internal loads internal heat loads so in this part we are going to discuss how we are going to enter the information of about these three components in order to calculate heat load due to these three parameters what the what exactly the mean profile that's that we have to make the pr profile or scheduling for these three uh, components schedule means the number of hours operating hours uh, by these three components so for example I'm going to take here example as a classroom as I said there is three components occupancy light and equipment so in this example in the, the example we consider as a classroom with the occupancy that means the human presence the students and light that is the fixtures and equipment the computers so as an example you can consider as an occupancy students number of students is equal to number of chair located inside the classroom and the light fixtures as you as I s as shown you already what exactly the light fixtures where it is located it is located on the false ceiling and equipments which is computer in this case s maybe in some other place some other equipments uh, will be there so let's assume the operating hours of this classroom is 7 to 12 p.m. which is 5 hours daily which means these three components 
contribute heat load only these five hours after 12 o'clock the class will be empty and if we can assume that there won't be any light on and there won't be someone will work on the personal computers and there won't be human presence uh, that means occupancy will be zero so we have to make a three different profile like occupancy for five hours like light fixtures will be on for five hours equipments computer will be going to be uh, uh, operate in this time that is five hours so the HAP will calculate the heat load due to uh, due to the operation of these three components I mean due to the the presence of these three components inside the building or any building or any area remaining hours it will it, it, it is not going to consider any load due to these three components so that means we can get the accurate heat load hour by hour that's why this program is called hourly analysis program so here we are calculating hour by hour that means for in this case only for five hours we will calculate the heat load which leads to uh, less cooling load and less uh, lesser size of uh, uh, equipment to be selected and the cost reduction so that's why these profiles are so much important so that is the introduction or brief uh, defi definition and importance of uh, of the these three components let conclude we are just going to discuss we are just going to enter the information about uh, scheduling which is third topic and you first you need to understand what is scheduling scheduling is you have to create the hourly profiles which is in a technical term in HAP terminology which is called hourly profile for each component of these three components occupancy lights occupancy lights and equipments and we you must know the operating hours for that uh, three, three for these three components then you have to create this profile into HAP which is I'm going to show in the next video uh, part two of this section uh, how to enter the profiles for these three components what is the important the importance of these three components uh, what is the importance of this section is if you compare with uh, old conventional style of calculation we will always consider these three components will be operated for 24 hours so we will get the peak load which is called peak load so in this case we are not going to get the peak load but we are going to get the load only for five hours operating hours and you might got a doubt that there is a possibility that this classroom may not going to be operate 7 to 12 maybe sometimes due to some emergencies due to some reasons the people are going to use this uh, area for more than the specified period that we will discuss in later stage when I am going to enter the uh, details into the HAP uh, for the hourly profile so this is this brief introduction and you can watch my next video for how to enter for, for knowing how to enter this information inside the software till then thank you very much